Good morning, Bulldogs. Happy Friday. Today is November 13th. You have one assignment. It is to read your in your My View Literacy book or to listen to the recording on page 227 through 245, Feathers Not Just for Flying by Melissa Stewart. You can try to use your class link and go on to the book there. I've assigned it, but it is having issues pulling up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and read it also so you get it twice. So page 228 is where I'm going to start. Birds and feathers go together like trees and leaves, like star in the sky. All birds have feathers, but no other animals do. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers aren't all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up its feathers and trapping a layer of warm air next to its skin, or cushion like a pillow. A female wood duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body. These feathers cushion the duck's eggs and keep them warm. Feathers can shade out sun like an umbrella. As a hungry tricolored heron wades through the water in search of food, it raises its wings high over its head. The feathers block out reflections from the sky and shade the water. It makes it easier to spot tasty fish and frogs or protect like skin like sunscreen. I'm on page 231. On sunny summer afternoons, red-tailed hawks spend hours soaring through the sky in search of prey. Their thick feathers protect their delicate skin, skin from the sun's harmful rays. Feathers can soak up water like a sponge. On sizzling summer days, a male sand grouse cools off by soaking his belly feathers on a, in a watering hole. Then the proud papa flies to his nest. While dad guards his chicks, the little ones suck on his feathers to quench their thirst. Or clean up messes like a scrub bush, brush. An American bittern always cleans up after it eats. Its feathers have brittle tips that crumble into a dusty powder. The powder is perfect for scouring away the dirt and slimy fish oil that sticks to its feathers. Page 234. Feathers can distract attackers like a bullfighter's cape. A dark-eyed junco distracts the enemies by flashing the bright white feathers on the outside of its tail. Then it quickly covers the feathers and darts off in the other direction. Or hide a bird from predators like camouflage clothing. A female cardinal's dull grayish tan body and feathers blend in with her forest home. They help her hide and protect her nest from the enemies while she sits on her eggs. Page 236. Feathers can make high-pitched sounds like a whistle. When a male club-winged mannequin wants to get a female's attention, he leans forward, raises his wings over his back, and rapidly shakes them. As feathers with ridges rub against feathers with stiff, curved tips, a squeaky chirping sound trills through the air or attract attention like fancy jewelry. A peacock's bright, beautiful tail feathers make him easy to spot. At mating time, a female is attracted to the male with the biggest, most colorful fan of feathers. Page 238. Feathers can dig holes like a backhoe. After banks swallow mates, they make a home together. First, the male uses his bill and the tough feathers on his lower legs to dig a two-foot-long tunnel in a stream bank. He pushes the dirt out with his wings. Then the female builds a nest of straw, grasses, and leaves at the end of the tunnel. Or carrying building supplies like a forklift. Most birds carry nesting materials in their beaks, but not the female rosy-faced lovebird. When she finds grass, leaves, or strips of bark, she tucks them under her rump feathers and flies back to her nest. 240. Feathers can help birds float like a life jacket. Mute swans glide smoothly across the water surface. Pockets of air trapped between their feathers help these graceful birds stay afloat. Or plunge downward like a fishing sinker. Most birds make a special oil to waterproof their feathers, but not the anhinga. The weight of its wet feathers help the hungry hunter dive deep down in the search of fish, crayfish, and shrimp.
Feathers can glide like a sled. Emperor penguins have tightly packed belly feathers that form firm, slick surfaces. The feathers make it easy for these birds to slide across ice and snow. Page 243. Or spin across the snow like snowshoes. Each autumn, willow ptarmigans grow a thick layer of feathers on the top of their toes. Like snowshoes, the feathers increase the size of the bird's feet so they can shuffle across the snow instead of sinking in. But most of all, feathers can give birds the lift they need to race across the sky. Kinds of feathers. Many scientists study birds and they are learning new information every day. Right now, not all scientists agree about the best way to classify types of feathers. Here's one system that many scientists use. Tiny filo plume feathers are attached to nerves. They help a bird sense its surroundings and they let the bird know that its feathers are in place. Stiff bristle feathers around a bird's eyes act like eyelashes. Some birds use bristle feathers around their mouths to locate food. Soft, fluffy down feathers keep a warm bird warm by trapping body heat next to its skin. Semi-plume feathers work with down feathers to keep birds warm and dry. Contour feathers cover most of a bird's body. They give a bird its shape and colors. The flight feathers on a bird's wing lift it up and move it forward. Flight feathers on the, tra on the tail help a bird steer and keep its balance. All right, so that's the end of feathers, not just for flying. You can also search on YouTube. I'll show you real quick. If you go to YouTube and you want it read, you can type in the feathers, not just for flying, and there's several that come up. Let me type it back in for you. Um, there's all these, and it's the same story. So if you want, would rather hear that so you can see the words, you may do that. You can go in through class link and try that, or you can just read your literacy book. When you get finished, you will go to your forms, and there are your nine questions with the page numbers that go with the book. Answer those and hit submit, and that is your assignment for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and a safe weekend. And I will talk to you all on Monday.